All right, welcome back to uh, Dave's Fantasy Faves here. Uh, NFL NCAA Fantasy Faves, as it appears on YouTube. <clears throat> uh, we're getting into week seven, so we're just moving right along here. We have uh, ten weeks to the season and uh, a two-week playoff. So uh, four teams make the playoffs out of 12. Uh, number one will play seed number four. Number two seed will play seed number three so uh, let me get into the results uh, with this first video of week six um, I'm coming at you from uh, the man cave here slash puppy lounge we have uh, some guest puppies here Lola Bentley happy where are you going happy say hi you got uh, Sophia and then uh, buddy over there <clears throat> So, uh, Happy, as usual, is wanting to get up on my lap. Happy, what's up, dude? You're knocking all my clothes over. Come here. Up, up. Let's see if I can do this. Ah. All right. We got Happy. Happy wants to shoot some free throws. <clears throat> oh, NBA started last night, or two days ago. So, congrats to the Lakers, and I don't know about those Golden State Warriors. I don't know what happened to you guys pretty much the only two teams that I'm interested in in the uh, NBA <clears throat> all right but this is all about uh, NFL and NCAA so I uh, just wanted to let you know that uh, I still am wearing a fear Mizzou t-shirt however next year I don't think Mizzou is gonna make it into the uh, top 12 they lost to Middle Tennessee State or something something crazy like that um, <clears throat> I don't even know what team they played. It was just not even like up to par for an SEC West team to be playing, and you lost. You let them score like 50 points or close to 50. <clears throat> it's pretty ridiculous. <clears throat> All right, so we had the Chiefs taking on the Washington Huskies. Those two teams I had um, slated to square off in my championship game at the end of the year. However, the Chiefs are 2-4 and four right now. Or they were two and four, and uh, actually they were two and three, and then the Huskies were four and two, getting ahead of myself. The Huskies ended up winning their game. The Chiefs won their game as well. <clears throat> However, uh, the Chiefs allowed 21 points, and the Huskies only allowed 17. So once again, the Chiefs lose on a tiebreaker. Those poor Chiefs. Chiefs dropped to two and four. The Huskies advanced to five and one, which is good for me because I have the Huskies going all the way and winning the whole enchilada. Uh, the Rams took on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, the Rams lost in London. <clears throat> and then how about this? The Jaguars also lost. So uh, along those lines, um. Oh, I think it, I think what it is is when the two teams lose, it's the game that was the closest. So the Rams came closest to winning. There was only a seven-point differential between um, their game. So uh, the Rams ended up actually winning that game. They move up from to four and two. Jags are two and four. <clears throat> Seattle Seahawks took on the Tennessee Titans. Um, wow, this was an interesting one. That was that, um, gosh, sun, Sunday night game. And the Seahawks and the Cardinals came to a 6-6 tie. So this was kind of interesting for me to figure out. Um, the Titans lost, and since the Seahawks didn't actually win their game, they lost as well. Uh, however, they allowed the least amount of points, uh, or their game was the closest, whichever you, you want to say. And uh, Seahawks ended up winning that game, even though they tied. So, because I guess you know, ultimately they didn't really lose either. So Seahawks ended up winning uh, that game. They go to three and three. Titans fall to one and five. Boy, oh boy, the Titans are in the basement, <clears throat> along with uh, another team, uh, the Saints. So, next game was the UCLA Bruins. Um, they actually lost their game, which was pretty sad. They lost, I think it was to Utah, 52-45. to 
And uh, Utah plays the Huskies this week, so I'm, I'm going to be interested in seeing how my Huskies do. <clears throat> Please don't lose that game. You're ranked, finally, you're ranked fourth in the nation, Washington Huskies. A shot at the real college football championship. And if you lose to Utah after you've already beat Stanford, Oregon, Oregon State, and all those other teams, that's just going to be dreadful. Um, but back to the UCLA Bruins losing to Utah. That dropped them down to 3-3, three and three, uh, seeing how LSU actually uh, won their game. So LSU moves up to 4-2. and two. Missouri, uh, which I mentioned before, lost... A game they should have no business losing. Uh, they dropped to two and four. They played Michigan. Michigan won. They smoked their opponent. Um, beat them up like forty-one to eight or something like that, if my notes are correct. Michigan goes to five and one, and Missouri drops to two and four. And finally, you had the Florida State Seminoles, which were on a bye. So, in the event that a team is on a bye, uh, the two alternates are Alabama and Oklahoma. Um, Oklahoma may be subbing in this week, but I'm not quite sure. I'm not sure if Missouri plays or not. I have to look at the schedule. But um, I'm not picking Missouri this week after what happened last week. So it doesn't really matter if they play or not. Um, <clears throat> well, actually, if they don't play, I might actually pick Oklahoma if, uh, if, if that's the case. But anyways, uh, Florida State Seminoles were on by. Alabama won their game 33-14. to uh, they won, and then the Saints just, they just lost. They lost, uh, who did the Saints lose to? It was 27-21. It's a close game. I'm not sure, did they play the Raiders this weekend? Wh whoever they played, they lost, so. They lost straight up. Florida State won. So the Saints dropped to 1-5. and five. You can kind of tell I could care less about the Saints right now since they have such a crappy record. I don't even... All I know is like I'll check the paper on Monday and I'll see if they won or lost and I'll write down my notes. So, uh, Florida State's three and three and the Saints are one and five. All right, so that wraps up uh, part one. We're gonna head into part two next uh, with the weekly standings, power rankings, and so forth, and the upcoming games. Thanks for listening.